I had my last real life conversation back in my infancy. And you might call this exaggeration, but it's how it feels. Repressing modern communication, face what it really is. A process of fascination in its infancy. Shot will grow till it spits out our heads. We will try, maybe not as battle, but sure in regrets. Cause if every time when we'll must not to lock into the void, into the void, the gross in our rally last generation, feeding itself with posts and tweets. Growing fat from damp past quotations, hunger for more they breed. Winter's fucked up, blind relation, they invite from their infancy. No, I'm part of this whole cancellation, but I refuse to breed. Cause this chat will grow till it spits on her head. We will try, maybe not in spittle, but sure in regrets. Cause if every time when we must, not to lock into the void, or into the void. Hola und salut. Salam alaikum and hello to this vision today. Thanks for tuning in. This is our second live show this week and we have some interesting topics we're going to talk about today. Um, first of all, thanks Robert Gräfe for this awesome music. He is um, a one-man acoustic guitar band. He is like doing all that kind of stuff with his hands on the guitar. It sounds like doing drums and that's actually pretty amazing what you can do with one guitar. Thanks again, he's from Ilmenau, and you might see him again on the campus. My name is Marcus, and this is my friend Amin. Hi. Yeah, we have two guests today. We're talking about Africa and the countries where they come from, and their culture, their uh, problems in the country maybe, and uh, about the food. And yeah, also we have reporters. Um, they're outside and go to the food festival from yesterday. And yeah, but at first, uh, our wonderful teaser trailer of Africa. Yeah, what beautiful pictures. Do you agree, Marcus? Yeah, yes, or? of course. I do agree. Uh, I've been to Africa once and that was actually pretty amazing. 
But now to a different topic. We are going to talk about money and monetization, all that kind of stuff. We interviewed uh, one person, his name is Bernard Liter, and he is born 1942 in Belgium. And he's a civil engineer, um, professor, author, economist, and he studies monetization and monetization systems for once. And he has the idea of making a new system, like introducing a new currency for local people, that they have this currency of their own, which exists parallel to the national currency. And this is actually quite an interesting idea. And he was actually, uh, 1971, he was writing his thesis in the MIT. And that was actually pretty interesting in the financial theme back there and he co-founded several other firms and we're gonna see that interview now which is actually interviewed here in Elmenau. Thanks for being here at the SV 2017. You had the lecture about um, economics in a fractal, a fractal world. Um, so first of all what does or how do you um, define what does global justice mean to you especially in the economic um, way, in the economic perspective? To keep it very simple, uh, I would say if a good starting point would be to eradicate poverty. Why? And we now have the tool to do that for the first time. Uh, and uh, so, I'm, it's obviously not the only form of justice that there is, but it is the one that I can do something about. <laughs> So is getting in kind of equal world, is it done by changing this, the currency, not the, really the currency, the system about it, so the, how money works, how the economy works in a, yes. in a society? Yes, it is, it is a way of uh, changing the nature of money, uh, how it is created and how it is working. And what's interesting in this particular uh, model, the, the Bancor protocol, is that you can actually include the conventional system as part of it and actually without having an opposition to it. Uh, until two weeks ago, I only saw the possibility of having a violent ending. Uh, now I don't. I can see for the first time a way to avoid the, 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 the clashes that come with, uh, with fundamental changes in the monetary system. It's the first time we would have it in human history. Yeah. How can I, I yeah, try to imagine the, this kind of new system? Well, it's a blockchain. It lives on the space of internet, internet and um, it's uh, something that uh, you... It's a smart contract, it's a smart token. The new money is a smart token as we define it. So it's a token with a a smart contract built into it, and that built into it is the rules of the, the process of using this particular thing. And it has reserves, and the reserves that are part of it make it automatically convertible into the currency that you have part of the reserve. And one of the reserves, for example, could be conventional money. And then the last, last question for the, for the listeners would be more like, um, what's kind of your, your favorite your music style and or maybe classic music. okay classic and uh, actually i'm evolving towards more chamber music before i was more uh, for, for larger ensembles or single but now i'm haydn schubert mozart oh. chamber music is the one that actually i'm getting to enjoy more and more that's in the last two years but i've been interested in classical music for since my, my youth, my big hero when I was 15 was uh, Beethoven, like so many others, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, yeah. yeah, interesting interview. Um, the interview is also in, on YouTube online in a few days. And if you want to see it again, uh, you can go there at iStuff on YouTube and yeah uh, now we have two guests um, and I will uh, <laughs> I will introduce you them um, now
Hello. <laughs> Come in. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. This is Amin. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Hello. Hi. Sala. Please sit down. Yeah. You two are here at the ISV. And um, yeah, Amin is from Algeria. Yeah. And Salah from Libya. And yeah, both of them are, are also students as I, uh, at universities from their countries. Is there something what, what someone of you will talk about, about your university and the, the, um, the stuff which you are studying? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for having us here. We're very honored to be uh, in Germany and to participate in ISWI. And we're more so to attend your very esteemed show. Well, actually, I am uh, Amin from Algeria. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm a PhD student of linguistics and education. Oh, okay. And I'm also a teacher of English. Ah, okay. And uh, my university back home is uh, called uh, Abu Bakr Al Qaeda University. It is in uh, the western part, western northern part of Algeria, mm. as a city near to Morocco, and also uh, it has borders with the Mediterranean. So mm. we're very, uh, we're very uh, also international. There we have uh, students from all over Africa, and we have some students from other nations, mm -hmm. and uh, we are very enjoying uh, learning a lot, and uh, we are hoping that we will also learn here and like transfer uh, what mm -hmm. we learn here to our, back to our universities. Mm -hmm. And Salah? Yeah, thank you for, uh, a lot for inviting us. My mm -hmm. name is Salah, as you said, but in fact, I'm not a student. Uh, I'm working as a journalist, and mm -hmm. I'm living in, uh, in Germany since two years. I'm living in Hamburg, mm -hmm. and I'm really so happy and glad to be again in SWE because mm -hmm. I was here in 2015. Um, I'm here um, because I, I'm giving, I gave a workshop uh, 2015 about um, human rights violation and about um, mm -hmm. freedom of speech and I'm happy again to be again to this beautiful city and meet all those international people who's coming from all around the world to share uh, knowledge and education and think about how we can make our uh, our world our life uh, better so I'm here now because I'm going uh, to give a workshop about uh, political action mm -hmm. and uh, trying to uh, encourage young people to expressing themselves, their feelings, their idea, their knowledge in different ways. Mm -hmm. So today we start our workshop about political action and also at the same time, uh, tomorrow we are going to do some actions in the city. We would like to communicate with people mm -hmm. and um, I, I'm, it's really awesome. I really, I love the, um, I love the energy which the young people they had and this is really also mm. amazing because all people they came from yeah. all over the world for one reason, share knowledge, meet new people, share culture and make a change in our world because I believe young people, uh, they are the only one who can make our life better and they are the only one who can make big change in our daily lives. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I saw something uh, about uh, you on your Facebook website. Um, yes. It's about a silent university. Can yeah. you can you say something about that? It's, it's quite interesting what I saw, but I think you you can describe it better than me. <laughs> yeah, thank you a lot. Yeah, this is really interesting uh, project. Uh, since I moved here in Hamburg, so I'm a journalist, but I'm, I don't work in media anymore. But I work as a journalist in different ways. So like I'm. Uh, informing people about the situation in my country mm -hmm. and also I became really uh, like very active in, in the field of human rights and also in politics here in mm -hmm. Germany. So one of the project or the one of the platform that I use them to, uh, to spread my idea to talk with people and share knowledge and learn from each other at a silent mm -hmm. university. Mm -hmm. Silent university, it's a project uh, based in five countries, mm -hmm. London and uh, Sweden, Jordan and Germany and also in a Greek. The idea of this project to help people who are not able to, um, to transfer their knowledge, like their uh, academy background knowledge, mm -hmm. Here, because sometimes, you know, if, like if you don't speak German, sometimes it's difficult mm -hmm. to share yeah. your knowledge and information. So this is a platform and this is also like political message, message to encourage people to come and talk with people, talk with the society, share with them your knowledge, bring your ideas out. And this is, uh, to be honest with you, this project it's something has something to do with art yeah. because it's also like 
art and culture, but mm -hmm. also in the same time has really big political message against bureaucracy that people, they had one platform where they can meet Germans or they can meet people from all around the world, share their knowledge, their experience without uh, showing certificate or out those, all those complicated stuff. I think mm -hmm. you understand what you talk, I talk about. Mm -hmm. And this is really cool, uh, this is cool and amazing project. We are organizing, so, yeah, yeah, it's also yeah, important to share important. knowledge and information and informing people what is going on like in, mm. from our country. So our, uh, our team or our members, they are from different nationalities. We do lots of activism. We organize lectures, workshops. Sometimes we do some actions in the city. So everything about bringing people together, share knowledge and uh, learn from each other and listen to each other mm -hmm. uh, to try to find um, space or understanding how we can live together in peaceful, uh, mm -hmm. in peaceful right. time, for example. Yeah. And discuss many problems. We discuss different kinds of problems. Racism, yeah. human rights, education rights, um, refugees rights. We talk about politics, M about many peace, things about, many yeah. things. Yeah. Cool, completely, really interesting topic. And uh, you, should, you should inform yourself um, at his website uh, or um, Silent University. Uh, or maybe on Facebook, you can yeah. add him and you can talk about this topic so much more than here in the yeah. Uh, show. Yeah, and now I give the word to Marcus. Yeah. And yeah. That is right. Um, these were actually some pretty interesting topics and we have to discuss this more. But first we have one more teaser for you and after this we're going to talk about all these problems uh, you've been experienced. Um, in Algeria or in Libya, are there any like problems, water problems, like school problems, educational problems, all these kind of stuff? But first, we're going to show you the teaser. Once upon a time in the future, there will be a young girl. She will live with her family in a village in South Africa. However, she will be not a princess. And this won't be a fairy tale. Welcome to today's news. The terrorist army called Books Are a Sin have recently professed a violent attack on a village in South Africa. And now in our political debate, our third president this year has been rejected by the public. New elections will be held next month. Morning. Morning. Where are our eight siblings? They've left for school already. You know it always takes two hours to get there. Are you okay? You look tired. I'm so scared about tomorrow. And I just keep forgetting what I have to do. How can you forget your coming of age ritual? Your future depends on it. You have to walk 500 kilometers out of town and dive for your birth zone in our local lake. But you have to be quick because you only have 15 minutes and we'll watch you over the live stream. Well, better than mutilation or killing a lion. Hmm. Good morning, sweethearts. Morning. morning. Mom, um, I still need the money for my ritual dress. Oh, right. It's 100 trillion dollars. I know it's not much, but I've been saving since you were born. Later that day, the girl will search online for a ritual dress. She will soon realize that with 100 trillion dollars, she can just about afford a soft drink. Hey, are you looking for a dress already? Are you okay? What's wrong? The dress has got more expensive again. I can't afford one. But you need a dress for the ritual ceremony or else you will be ejected out of society and become an outcast. The only place you'll have left to go is a terror organization books us in. And so the girl prepared for an uncertain future. Hey. 
Hey Missy, I think you already know who I am and why I'm here. So it's my task to escort you. Now. All right, the video you saw just now is a little bit more exaggerated than it actually is, of course. Um, but that is kind of the story you're talking about here. Um, all that human rights, freedom of speech, like the mother who is like taking back some money all the years to give it to her daughter to in, inform and that she has an opportunity to go to a university or a school and get some educational. Um, yeah, that, that is all the kind of stuff we are talking about. And we have two guests here who are from Africa and can talk a little bit more of that. So I'm putting it back to you, Amin. Yeah, um, I mean, at first you, uh, what kind of challenges do you have in your country about uh, education maybe or uh, in the university or, uh, and also what uh, society uh, problems do you have in this kind in particular? Uh, well, uh, do you ask only about education itself? Oh uh, no, uh, you can talk about much more if you want. Uh, education at first maybe yeah. and then after... Well, well, actually Algeria or Nigeria or the USA or Germany, mm -hmm. like there is no perfect country and all countries mm -hmm. have, do have challenges and we do have challenges. Uh, well, concerning education, uh, like we, uh, Algeria, in Algeria we have uh, we have uh, uh, embraced a new educational system at university mm -hmm. uh, s uh, since more than uh, 10 years. And it's, uh, it's working well, but still we're hoping that it's going to be developed. It's like we are still uh, trying to adapt it with the Algerian context because that was like a global syst educational mm -hmm. system. And we, ch we should now ad adapt it, not only adopt it. So. The, the challenges that we have uh, are like uh, more about uh, uh, coping with the, with the technological advancements. So now we, are, we have done a very, very uh, good progress in terms of uh, getting these materials, mm -hmm. but we still need more. And uh, uh, this is why I'm here. I came here to learn about education and also to see how, because I am in the educational mm -hmm. group, yeah. And we are discussing like uh, a global uh, justice and education. So uh, how can we get, uh, how can all the world benefit from technology, which is not uh, mm -hmm. uh, for one country alone, but it is shared by all human beings. So all human beings participate in the advancement of the world of technology, of education. So I came here to learn and to transfer that knowledge back home and yeah. to try to uh, solve these challenges, which I, uh, I call also opportunities. So we have opportunities to develop and progress more and more. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe uh, uh, this is uh, the real uh, message of ISWI, like to bring people from all over the world, exchanging ideas and, uh, from, from and also applying it back home. So mm -hmm. this is the most mm -hmm. important thing and trying to solve the challenges that you have. Well, Africa is a very big country, uh, uh, is a very, very, very big continent, <laughs> and it has different states. Each, each uh, country has its own challenges. And uh, culture, but and the common challenges is like, we need the transfer of technology mm -hmm. from the, the, the developed countries. Because mm -hmm. Africa has got a lot of potentials, not only the natural resources that you know, but also the human resources. We've got mm -hmm. uh, amazing, ambitious, smart, and talented youth who are there, who are working to make a positive impact. And uh, they are working, but they still need the help of the developing mm -hmm. uh, developed countries. So this is what is with all about, mm -hmm. I believe. I have also a question about uh, the tradition of your country or all of your countries. Yeah. Um, the is there also the challenge to, to fuse tradition with the actual uh, um, progress in the economics and culture and uh, technology and all the stuff and maybe also uh, religion? Yes. Um, which kind of struggle do you have there and which kind of progress do you see or opportunities and yeah. what do you see in the future with yeah. this stuff? 
thank you very much indeed. Like you gave me the chance to talk about our uh, our uh, forgotten history. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in Africa, we are people of uh, of civilization. We knew civilization way back uh, before, like thousands of years yeah. ago, and we we pioneered at uh, at science, at civilization. Mm -hmm. We we added a lot to the human uh, civilization. But some people forgot about that. And we also forgot about that because yeah. we have had some struggles. But so if you look at our traditions, our religion, for example, it incites us to learn. It incites us to, to do civilization. This is the, the, the message of the human beings on earth to create civilization, to add, to be creative, to be, to be critical thinkers who who bring uh, new things, who bring uh, positive things for the humanity. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, a very solid in our history, in our traditions. Yeah. But as I said, we have been, because th the civilization throughout the world goes uh, up and down, it's very natural. But you know, I believe like we are going back uh, great again <laughs> with the help of the developed countries. So we will all collaborate to make the world Better. better again yeah that's that's cool definitely yeah so yeah, yeah of course um if we talk about the situation in libya how the situation in general you mm -hmm. know because the, the the situation in libya it is not stable because you know there is mm -hmm. some big conflict in libya since four or five years mm -hmm. about almost like from far it's a start since 2011. Mm -hmm. so in general the situation is not safe but in fact um I have hoped that one day everything is going to be ba good again. So will be. Yeah, definitely. yeah. So we have to be optimistic that the country is gonna be safe again. Is everything yeah. going to be fine? People they are going to be happy and they get all their rights. So it is a little bit difficult and complicated to talk about to mm -hmm. talk about politics in Libya. Yeah. But I'm going to talk about the social life and how things is going on there. But uh, in the same time, I believe in every country there is so many knowledges, uh, yeah. challenges. Yeah. challenges yeah. And for example, young people or they are facing problems in everywhere, even here in Germany, in France, uh, mm -hmm. in UK, in Africa, and everywhere. Problems are exist in everywhere, but are different. They are different. There is different, or there is level between the kind of problems. Situation in Libya, I think, if you talk about education, it's really I think is fine, but um, but sometimes. It's, um, it is not easy that uh, to share your knowledge with people there, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, you know it's, it's the war. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to talk about education. It's not mm -hmm. easy to talk about all those stuff because the situation is so difficult, and the people are really suffering from different kind of uh, yeah. things. You know, so when there is war, war is destroying everything That's beautiful. Yeah. So what we are doing now, we try to. Um, to control the country again, we try to make uh, peace again, we try to talk and discuss mm. to find solution for our country. But uh, if this is what, what is going on, and I believe, as he said, that the smart, intelligent people are existing everywhere, in Libya, mm. in Algeria, in Tunisia, in Africa, also in Sudan, in Africa, in everywhere in the world, yeah. there is intelligent people, there is young people, they had a lot of idea, and they can really make our be uh, future beautiful. Yeah. But what we need, we need really to trust young people, we need to push them, encourage them, give them space to share their knowledge, their ideas. Young people didn't need to wait like till they are uh, they're like, uh, they don't need really to um, wait uh, to, um, for example, I mean like they don't need to wait till be like 30 or 40 years, then we give them a chance. When they are yeah. 18, when they are 16, 15, we have to give them the chance to, uh, to practice, to share their knowledge, to think, to be creative, to make a change. We need young yeah. people. Young people, That's the, uh, it's the really important. That they're, they're really yes. important yeah. part yeah. To, yeah. to change something. Yeah, and, and we need really... With some Young people, yeah. young yeah. brains who are yeah. we, wanting we to change it. We something. need because, to be honest with you, if you talk, we see, see our reality right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the like the not young people, what they did in the world, they just destroyed the world. Yeah. The world is destroying. Millions of people became uh, refugees. Millions of people became homeless. Yeah, uh, yeah. Millions of people they lose their families. Millions, of, millions of children they are working and uh, under 18. Millions of children they are not allowed to go to school. Yeah, millions yeah. of people they have no clean water. Definitely. Millions of people they dying from lots things, of people dying problem. from hunger. Mm. Who's who's caused all those problem, problems and who's responsible? We, I think I believe and I think 100. 
the present, that change will start mm. yeah. from the young people. Young yeah. people, they have great idea. They understand and what does them. mean to live together in peace, exactly. sharing food and water, sharing knowledge, sharing everything. This is mm. what we need in our world. Like what is happening now in Isri? People from all, uh, yeah. students from all over the world, right. bring they are all together. Bring new things. Yeah. yeah, it's very positive so this, uh, environment. Yeah, but mm. there is. Yeah. The, if you talk about politics, it's really sad and the situation is really horrible. So and a big, we big are trying. Yeah, yeah. We, to be honest with you, trying to talk about positive stuff to inspire uh, inspire young people to make a change and think positive yeah. because this is what we need. You know. Yeah. Uh, there is a problem is they are exist mm -hmm. but uh, in the same time we are still uh, optimistic mm -hmm. and, and we are looking for a better future for and all the, the new generations the and people and the stuff yeah yeah cool completely wow <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. marcus you want something yeah. I, I want something, of course. <laughs> there was actually so much information we have to process, all of that kind of stuff. It is so good that you're here. And like sharing is caring, as we all know. Yeah. And sharing information is the most important thing. And about sharing, can you, like, this is a completely different topic now, but what is actually, what is your favorite me meal from Algeria? Do you have anything? Yeah, or of from course. Uh, in Algeria, of course, the famous one is couscous. Couscous. But uh, Algeria is a very big country, okay. from the east to the west, to the north, uh, to the south. We have very diverse uh, okay. uh, meals and traditions, yeah. And, and yours? Yeah, I think uh, in Libya it's also couscous. <laughs> it's in most of North of Africa. Actually, it's yeah. North Africa. Also, also but, uh, also but in the same time, we had like yeah. different kind of traditional, yeah, different. Uh, yeah. traditional food. We had something that's called basil, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. And it is not, I don't really know how to explain about it, what <laughs> okay. is the recipe exactly, but this is so beautiful. But uh, yeah, we had really delicious food, mm -hmm. and I'm living with uh, with uh, I'm living here now mm -hmm. in Germany since two years, and I'm living yeah. with a uh, cook. His name is Stefan, and he's German. I want to say hello for him. <laughs> okay. And now I really I can also cook uh, mm -hmm. most time in Germany. I cook German food, which um, not almost time, but uh, now I s I learn in a little bit, yeah. uh -huh. which That's really right. more about s potato and the yeah. bread and, and salad. Yeah. With that, That's right. we are. Uh, we, we went yesterday to the street food festival oh. and now we have some impressions for you and let's go. All right, yeah, that is actually was pretty amazing. I've been there yesterday too, and I've tried some different meals, of course, and so interesting, so many people volunteered to bring their own food from their country to here. Like, they have to bring all that kind of stuff on the plane too, uh, it's pretty interesting. But still, uh, my favorite meal there was actually Lapsi, it's called. I asked one person, it's from Nepal. And that is actually pretty interesting. It's like sweet, sour, and spicy in one thing. It's like these small little things. And yeah, I hand it over to you back again, I mean. And you can go deeper into favorite meals, culture, all that. Yeah. Uh, at first, I think I talk a little bit uh, about uh, tagine. Tagine is a meal from Morocco. Uh, why I'm talking about it is because my father is American and uh, I know a little bit about that. And at first I will show you some interesting photos which kind and diversity the um, tagine can have. Yeah, and it's served in this pot. <laughs> yeah, and I want to ask you something about tagine. 
I think you have also tagine in your countries. I, I maybe. I, yeah, in Algeria we do have it. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm from a city uh -huh. called Tlemcen, which is on the borders with uh, Morocco. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, let me tell you that North African countries, the Maghreban ones, Libya, Algeria, Tunisia, mm -hmm. and Morocco, uh, they w we actually share so much uh, traditions. We, we have we speak the same language Excellent. we share yeah. like for example couscous is yeah. everywhere yeah. Tajin, oh, yeah. Tajin, i guess it's only in the western part of algeria and morocco specifically okay. and uh, i don't yeah, know for I the think world, in libya um, in libya i think we don't have a tajin but mm -hmm. we have our uh, traditional libyan tajin but it's not the same this it's one the same. but okay. uh, in general lily i love uh, tajin it's really so delicious and yeah. uh, it's so beautiful in my house here in germany i have three tajin and um, I really, I really enjoy it when enjoy I cook it, with tagine. Yeah. It's really, yeah, it's you feel, really you delicious. it's really, it's completely really nice. different as when, when you do it in yeah. a normal. Uh, yeah, it really, it's really amazing and has, uh, an, um, it really has special taste. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Our food is very, very diverse. Like I really miss our food, man. Yeah, yeah. I know it's also uh, uh, when when I'm uh, traveling to uh, through Morocco, uh, when when I'm in the north, uh, the tagines are more uh, with more uh, ingredients, uh, yeah. fruits, um, vegetables, uh, and sweets, and sweets and yeah. uh, uh, meat. And when I'm going in the south, there are some uh, other things like yeah. uh, um, uh, uh, I know a dutton um, dates. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And some nuts and, yeah. and more, or more in the, uh, on the at the coast uh, fish and the yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's it's the same as in your countries. Yeah, yeah. it's always completely and even all different. over Africa. Africa is a very it's rich country in terms of traditions and the meals. It's really an amazing uh, ca uh, continent with uh, several several traditions. And uh, it's really also good that when people are really interested uh, to learn from each other and sharing like uh, yeah. culture, um, see other people, how they're, how they are, what is their lifestyle and especially food, the food always bringing people together. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> when, I, when we were outside, there was uh, some guy and he, he doesn't know us and said, hey, would you like to join us? And I go with my father to, to the, uh, them in, at the house and it was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It was so friendly, yeah. fam familiar. The food festival was really amazing. It's, it's yeah. Totally. Yeah. I tasted uh, from all the countries. Like, yeah. oh my God, it was, it was the, the, An the, experience. the best, best experience of my yeah. life yeah. in yeah. terms of tasting food. Yeah, it was really beautiful. And <laughs> the, the best from all over the world. Mm. Yeah, music, culture, uh, traditional address, uh, dress, everything was really amazing about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Even there was like a concert, like everyone was uh, singing his own uh, uh, country's uh, uh, traditional music. It was so, so, so amazing. Mm. And also I saw that you were singing. Maybe you can sing something for us here. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot sing. About singing. Um, yeah, I think uh, we should uh, go to the next topic. That's right. Marcus? Yeah. The next topic, I'm just going to hand it over back to Robert Greffe. He's going to play another song for us. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Cold is your skin, not by your hands. Gun is pointing at your temple. When did you begin to think of the end? When did you decide to fall? Fingers wrapped around the trigger, reflecting on what you've been through. Could you come to find a reason to pull? Fear was always taking time Creeping for balance control over you. Don't have you grown beyond 
bunch of years The free attempt just seemed to fail Never you've shown Something like tears But couldn't you forgive yourself? Feet were always taking toes on you Craving for balance control Over you Your debts convert yourself of fate Rest in peace, we'll forget someday. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, Robert. <laughs> uh, was beautiful. Um, was very awesome. And awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome. it was awesome really was great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Sehr schön. Das ist sehr schön. Yeah. We can speak Perfect. a little German. Yeah. Do you also can say yeah. something? Yeah, I can speak a little Dutch, but it's so good. Doch. <laughs> Das war schon also ziemlich gut. Das war doch gut. Ja, vielen Dank. Das war sehr gut, auf jeden Fall. Ich versuche. Since, since when do you, uh, did you are, uh, uh, were you in Germany? Um, since 2015, but uh, most time my work and everything mm -hmm. and my German friends, they speak in English, so mm -hmm. it's not yeah, easy to right. learn ah, the German. Yeah, yeah, okay. But now I really, I found the German language really interested. Um, I have a great passion for Dutch learning. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I bet you've got Thank some you. skills, man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, then, at next, we have a game. It's called Draw the Country. And here is the bumper. Yeah, we're gonna play a game. Uh, everybody of us is gonna, like we play in teams, we two against you two. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody's gonna draw one of these countries here. And then we have this pad, and we're gonna see it back there for the people who are watching, and we're gonna see it back there. And you're gonna draw what's, what is in your mind when you hear the country. I mean, you can draw the border lines and all that kind of stuff, so you can imagine, okay, this is gonna be Italy or something like that. Yeah. Or you can just, when you think about France, you can draw a baguette or something, something like that. Yeah. So it's gonna be, this is gonna be pretty fun. So um, I think you can start. I'm just gonna. I, I think at first we should make teams, or? Make teams? I, th I thought we were going like mods against yeah, our. I think. We, are t we two against you two, or? As you well, like. I think we two against, against you two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, right. One, one person's gonna draw. I mean, who do you want first? Who wants? Yeah, I start. You're gonna start. Okay. And you can draw one country. Yeah. <clears throat> Cuba. You shouldn't. You shouldn't Cuba. be looking oh. at it. Okay, now now I have to play uh, <laughs> because so you're you're not supposed to look at it because uh, somebody has to guess what we're. Yeah. What, so what maybe country. I make it. Oh. I repeat again. Maybe you can repeat, repeat it again. Like. No. Okay. Oh, we, we, yeah. We repeat it. Yeah, we repeat it. And don't you have to look. you have to close your eyes. So. Yeah. <laughs> don't look, please, at me. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Got Is it, it over? 
Oh, wait, wait one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Okay. So hmm. I'm going to draw. Gonna, yeah. yeah, you can, you can draw, take it. Yeah, draw it on it. You yeah. can take it. Yeah, perfect. So I can write something? Yeah, or write something. I wish you'd see it back here and back there. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> oh. If yeah, just, just look I back think there. you should. Uh, ah, okay, yeah, I will repeat it again, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can. Uh, w wait one second, and uh, we can do it again. Now. Yeah. yeah. You might have to press a little bit harder. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think maybe. Doesn't work. In the middle? Yeah, ah. okay, it's <laughs> perfect, yeah. So. Oh, we don't, we don't get this back there. Yeah, it's just name. Then I will draw a human, two yeah. humans. Oh, a uh, man and a girl. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, France. France. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is it one country in Africa? Yeah. Okay, and you choose Li Libya? No, no. This is really, b it's not in Libya, it's, it's in Africa, yeah, it's somehow. In Africa, in Africa. okay. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in the middle of mm. Africa or in the south? I think in south. South, okay. okay. I, I'm not really sure about the location, <laughs> to be <laughs> okay. honest. Okay. Um, friends, it's pretty hard, actually. <laughs> I, th I think it's not easy to find it. Cho okay, it's chosen find out, the yeah. hardest one ever. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh. two, two people, uh, it is, it's two, uh, they are friends, um, what's, mm. what, what was the, the name? Name, uh, Latoya. Latoya. Well, oh, I can answer you maybe. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Well, uh, just when I just read the name, it is uh, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Ah. Yeah, and um, oh. I had three dear friends from there, her name is Latoya. Uh -huh. And um, she's inspiring me a lot. She's an activist, a human rights activist, okay. and she's a political activist. Ah, when okay. I just read the name, I remember her because I didn't know anything <laughs> about the country. Ah, okay. <laughs> wow, well, this is, this is, yeah, this is the hard. only thing that I know from that country. I, that okay. I had a friend from there. Her name mm -hmm. is uh, Latoya. Okay. But it's also that's a cool story about yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's cool. That's yeah. Right. yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, Damien, you're next, your I guess. And yeah. the next one? Okay. Or, or uh, just gonna, uh, we're going to go the line. You, you're or, or, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. You can. You can uh, then? Yeah. <clears throat> Close your eyes. <laughs> I have to reset. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, it's okay. So I have to draw have something to draw now mm -hmm. yeah. about the country. It's erased and you can go. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's like, um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mm. it's like, maybe. That's hard. Okay. Any ideas yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more, okay. more, more, more difficult. Oh, what is it? Uh, uh, you have to I draw a little bit more in the middle, work. I think. Huh? Doesn't work now. Uh, sh you should, you should uh, show to the to the panel, maybe. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, uh, is it working? A little bit more in the middle. It doesn't. Uh, I think you you. You should uh, don't push the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't push oh, no. it. No, doesn't. Oh, that's okay. Fine. That's like we yeah. need some technical support. Where's Josh? Is Josh there? Or maybe I can just give you some signs. Yeah. Okay, so just just I talk a little a, bit I about I have a different. Country. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you you it's something yeah. like a quiz. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we, okay. we change it. <laughs> okay, okay. Still, so, so this is the this is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. <laughs> beautiful countries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's very amazing. Uh, lots of people go there for tourism. Um, it's in Africa. It's in okay. Africa. Northern part or South Africa? Southern, southern part. It's, it's uh, around the southern part of Africa. Okay. So, Senegal? No, Senegal is not ah, in yeah. the south, man. <laughs> you, said the, you said in the south of Africa. The south. Ah, okay, it's south. Like yeah. The southest part of Africa, maybe? Is it like 
the is it an island or a part of the, co uh, the continent in itself? It Actually, it is an island. <laughs> it's an island, Madagascar. Island. Yeah, it's Madagascar. Is it? Madagascar. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. that's great, man. <laughs> nice. We should go there. We should go there. Okay. We should okay. come it's over yeah. uh, and discover Africa. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love. it. Okay. I, I've only been to Tunisia once, but that's like ten years ago. So. Yeah. I need welcome to, I need back, to visit welcome Africa back. again. Yeah. Africa is missing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> welcome right. to Africa. Um, you want to try one more? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That, that's good. That's, that's an easy one. Okay. That's a really easy one. Um, okay. The, just, the, just talk about the, it. The art part is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about... I'm talking about it with uh, some, some accent and... Oh, I love spaghetti. Italian. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, man. This is <laughs> that was, that was too easy. Super yeah. easy. It's it like must be. It was the first thing I, I, it's like I had in my answer, head. Right? Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Okay. <laughs> La vetta bella, spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Italian <laughs> italiano? Okay, I'm going to try one more. Uh, oh, 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 oh. this in. Un poco. Un poco. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one is interesting too. Yeah, you all can guess, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I think this, I, I think I'm gonna say, <laughs> okay, maybe that's too easy, but everybody thought this is gonna start World War Three. And uh, Russia. it's based on, no. not so, Russia, so, so Ukraine, 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 it's, Ukraine, it's Ukraine. like, a little bit in the past, like after World War II, there was like a crisis. Soviet Poland? Union, Russia? No, it's, it's uh, America, so... Oh, ah. South America? What? It's in South America. It's Cuba. That's right, it's Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. Ah. So ah, great. The missile crisis. Did you say yeah. second or third? It's what? like Se it could uh, launch the okay, third... Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, okay. <laughs> no problem. Things got nothing Okay. Happen. Yeah, right. um, so. another round or...? Uh, I think, yeah, we can... No, one round, I okay. think one more round. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You can go again. Yeah, please. Don't look to my paper. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> always forget that. I can look, I guess. Wow. Oh, wow. wow, is it hard or easy? Super, super it's hard. hard. Yeah. I didn't know how to... Uh, this is like this okay. Okay. If, you, if you don't have any clue, then the, just uh, take no, another one. No, but I, I can, you know. Okay. Um, okay. The people are really so polite there. Okay. So oh, uh, and uh, the education system and the country is really free development. There is so many de uh, development. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, they wearing almost time they wearing like white traditional clothes, uh, clothes with red uh, point. Um, is it also in the, north the, of the, the flag is white and red. And white and red. It's Sweden. That's Switzerland. No, no. no. it's Sweden. Sweden. It's, no. not, it's uh, far away from here. It's far away. Far, far away. To the oh. east or west? Uh, to what the is east. the, 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 the color of the flag? White is? and red, I think so. Okay, there's Japan. Japan? Yes. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> You're super. Yeah. Crazy yeah. This the white, uh, the, the red okay. circle in yeah. the middle there. Even in that. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, this was the usual one, so we can go one more, so. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. So this country. This country has a uh, has a very very long uh, history. history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he has uh, one of the most prominent uh, thinkers in human history. Is it a really big country? Not too much. It's not a very big country. A lot of thinkers. Um, there are many thinkers. It's like. Is it? Uh, it's like very known for this. Man. In which time uh, okay. did the thinker uh, live? Uh, is it, uh, is it like live more thinker about more authors, all that kind of stuff? Or Thinkers, is it uh, more philosophic? Yeah, okay. philosophic. philosophers. Uh, philosoph uh, philosopher. well, uh, in like the ancient uh, time? Yeah. Oh, it's Greece? No. Yes, it's is it Greece? Greece? It's oh. very easy. But, uh, is I it yeah, the philosopher? Uh, philosopher. Uh, the philosopher. I to keep it uh, you mean, so that you yeah, can that's right, that's right. Did but you mean uh, Aristoteles or, or no, someone yeah. people, like right. that? Ah, okay, not bad, okay. Not bad. That's, yeah. that's also good. All right. Pioneers of okay. So oh, we have to, like, this was the last one, actually. The last one? Yeah. There is. Oh, okay. All, the, all these people said, no, this is what, it huh? was the last one actually already. So. Ah, it was yeah. the last yeah, one. Yeah, we have to oh, get to the next sorry. topic because oh, I want short to, on to time. Say <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> After the show. <laughs> okay. Right. Where we will play. So. Okay, yeah, then the next part. 
is something. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah, <laughs> we already have to. Yeah, go um, further. Thank um, you very much. Again. Thank you so much. You're yeah. welcome. You are yeah. very welcome, Bita. Danke schön. Danke schön. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was just, really a pleasure yeah. to be just, here. Yeah, I would like to say thank you too. And uh, we hope all the young people who came here, they can learn and share knowledge yeah. Yeah. and go back and inspire their people and hope. We wish peace and love for all the humans mm. in the world and we have to be united. Yeah. We have to live together and share everything together. It is time to exactly. get our rights to, uh, to, to fight for and struggle for freedom of speech, for freedom, for human rights, yeah. for it's education, for everything. And this is what ISWI is all about global exactly. justice yeah. so yeah. globe that's, the world's that's going the to be a great place yeah. Take thanks care. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you thanks a lot and when you're going you can write on that kind of uh, core piece with the exactly. red marker thank you right. yeah. thank you yeah. okay um, funny philosophical all right you must sir back here yeah so oh that is interesting, <laughs> but nobody cares about that. <laughs> um, now we're going to see a little bit about uh, funny phys philosophical. Some of our SV people here um, were interviewed. I think I was told when they were drunk, so I'm not quite sure if they were really drunk. or I haven't seen that video before, so I don't know what comes. But here's the video for you. If you never even existed, would you be dead? What is the opposite of a banana? Why does Tarzan have no beard? The philosophy is right now very deep in our blood and we have to extract it uh, in form of questions we want to ask to the ISWI students on midnight right now. And so, can we do this? I, I hope so. Otherwise I can't get to sleep, I think. We can do this. We can do this. Are you dead when you never even existed? Um, I guess so. That sounds really, really philosophical. <laughs> Am I dead when, I, when I'm not existing? Uh, I know. I think in order to die, you need to force exist. I mean, I mean, how would you like? You don't have conscience. How would you know? That I don't like. It's, it's a tricky question. Like, yeah. if you don't, Are you dead? I mean, everything exists in like in opposites, right? Like, so if you never existed, if you don't know what life you is, and you de like, dead. you're just like you never existed. What is death? Yeah. Death is like there's the no you. There is no this. Qu like, like, question yeah. is, I don't. Like, yeah. Are you dead? When are you never existed? Absolutely not. But I was dead last <laughs> night after party. <laughs> Kai, I need you to do this for me. Come on, Kai, come on, stop doing that. You need to do some things. Hello? It's your job, not the banana. <sighs> Hopeless. What is the opposite of a banana? Maybe, maybe an apple. Why? It's round and the banana is tall. I don't know why. <laughs> mm. Banana. Maybe the banana. Maybe a banana which is turned into the opposite <laughs> side, kind of. You know? <laughs> That's smart answer. <laughs> banana. Oh, interesting. Potato. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? Mm, because uh, usually you say uh, in Spain you say not cheese, you say potato. Uh, why we can say banana when you do a photo? <laughs> <laughs> so those <Okay>. are fine. <laughs> <laughs> you just told us everything has in the post. No, no, no. If we talk about abstract terms, then yes. Like, if those are physical objects, then no. Like, what? what is the opposite? The, uh, the, the, the absence of this object is an opposite. When mathematics does not exist, could you say what is one plus one? Uh, if math mathematics don't exist, one plus one, one exists also. Banana. <laughs> One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana. Does anyone know this song? Um, if mathematics. Love. Uh, yeah, maybe yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, love. <laughs>
laughs every time good. What's the opponent of a banana? The opponent of a banana. I think we humans are banana's biggest opponent because whenever we meet with them, like one of one of the individuals die, and it's always the banana that dies. Uh, why does Tarzan have no beard? Ah, oh, I always ask that question. Uh, I guess because it just doesn't grow for him. It makes it difficult to jump from one tree to another. <laughs> you can lose your balance maybe or something. <laughs> maybe he should have grown up with humans instead of monkeys. Maybe he would have gotten a beard, I think. Is the answer to this question no? Yeah, no. Which question? The question I'm asking you right now. No. Mm. <laughs> Good. Uh, yes. Why? Because. Um, <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> That's what kept me awake, so I went around and wanted to ask people if they know the answer. Well, the answer is no. But then you're... Then you're basically lying. Aha! It's like asking... A sleeping person, are you sleep? No, wait. <laughs> it's like, this is impossible to say yes, because otherwise it would be contradictory. Wait. I didn't hear is the that. answer <laughs> is the is the answer to the question I'm gonna ask you no and if I say no I'm saying no which is contradictory you know like you must no no that can be that can be that cannot be I see Well, I would say I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> Maybe you will. I didn't understand your question at all. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it could be no. Or maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, serious. Because normally I should say no because I did, you didn't ask me any question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. <laughs> All right, that were actually pretty interesting answers. And to the last question, I would say, of course, 42. That is actually probably the best answer you can give to oh. asking no. My, 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 my answer is no. Your answer is no. <laughs> oh, and, so, so, and, so and banana. Yes. banana. Banana is banana. also the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, hmm. ah, and w what's what's your answer about the beard uh, of Tatsan? The beard of Tatsan. I think the one girl explained it pretty good. Actually, she said like he's losing his balance. Maybe he's stuck in the trees somewhere. I don't know. I have no <laughs> clue. But these these questions. Who thought about them? I mean, I think I think the best answer is they don't have one. Uh, don't he, he, he don't have But one. the one uh, thing was pretty interesting, I think, huh? when he said, um, was again, when you're, uh, I can't remember, was the first one or the second one, he said, uh, when you're the, dead, you're not here or something like that. Ah, this okay, is the yeah. same, like the existential question. Yeah. I heard somebody saying, like, if nobody's looking at the moon, does the moon even exist? Because nobody can prove it. Exactly, I, exactly. That, that yeah. is actually, like, a little bit, well, philosophical. Ooh. But yeah, back and to that. Back to. 42. 42. <laughs> <laughs> right. The answer for everything. Okay. The next thing is SPTV. Uh, now we are almost done with the exhibition for today and I'll present you the program for tonight and for tomorrow. Tonight is a rare occasion where all the clubs are open for the club rotation and there will be music for every taste and of course you have to rotate and check out every place. If you're not too hungover tomorrow, you can take part in the panel discussion with one of our professors uh, and other members from journalism, politics and other media related sectors. They'll talk about chances and risks in social media concerning global justice. And as we all know, global justice is the main topic in the ISV this year. 
It will take place in the Helmholtz, Helmholtz um, lecture room from 4 to 6 p.m. Last but not least, don't miss out on the uh, open air concert Tuesday night here on campus. You can watch three different, three different bands play. One of them actually came all the way from all the way from Colombia. They'll play music from punk to hip hop and reggae. I don't think there's any reason not to go because even the entry is for free. So I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and see you tomorrow. All right. Yeah, as you said, um, it's going to be pretty awesome tomorrow. The opening concert, everybody has to come here. It's going to be a pretty nice time. And yeah, that's right. I think that's about it for the show. Yeah, it was a pleasure for us to be your hosts. And I hope you can enjoy the last time with Rodat Graf. And till tomorrow. And see you there. All right. Bye. Bye. Promise to the world tomorrow Grant every wish you're longing for All these lies did you believe Are products of your own greed And they feed your appetite Swallow the pain so blind Until you choke from lies Fat enough for the fees The vultures circle above your hats Green eagerly they see you dead All these lies did you believe Are products of your own greed And they feed your appetite Swallow the bait so blind Until you choke from lies Fatty, now for the fiends Can't